All right. Just thought I'd do a quick review of my uh, Leatherman Wave that I've had for a while. I've had this because I've had a few Leathermans actually. This one is my favourite everyday carry. I say everyday carry because I carry it every day. I'm a welder and a fabricator, so this comes in quite handy for bits and bobs. So comes in this little pouch. So in the little pouch I've also got a, a little mag light, which comes in handy in the winter months when you're scratting around for stuff. Pretty bright as well. So that's that goes in one pocket. This pouch has got quite a few little handy pockets. This other one here is the extension tool for the Leatherman Wave. So I'll show you that in a minute. So take it out then. And this is it. Quite quite heavy, quite a nice weight. I've put like a little bit of paracord on there so it's easier to pull out the out the thing when it's on your belt because otherwise it's a bit of a struggle. So there you go. So first off then, when it's folded up like this, there's four tools you can access. So the first one is like a serrated knife. So that's for, good for like cutting string or, well, cutting anything really, because it's pretty damn sharp. Then it's got like a little padlock sign there, so you just push that in, fold it away. The Leatherman's are quite good because you can just flip them open just with like one finger and put it up. It's like all one-handed, so you ain't got to mess around with it. That's the serrated knife. We use that one quite a lot. And then on the same side, you've got... There you go, it's got a bit of shit on it, but it's alright. You've got like a nail file on one side, a metal file on the other, or the other way around, I don't know which way around it is. And then that's like a little metal saw there. I don't think it would be up to much metal sawing though, but the file's quite good. Once again, you've got the little padlock. Put that bad boy back in there. Right, so that's that side. Yep, so the other side. We've got normal knife. Really sharp, good for opening absolutely everything. So that's really sharp, that one. And I think that's under the three inches as well, so you might just get away with that. You can carry these around in England as long as you're like a tradesman, you've got like a proper reason for carrying them, but I wouldn't be carrying them around on my day off. And then the other side you've got proper wood saw. Cut a few stuff things off with that. Stumps off well not stumps off trees, but branches off trees and stuff. Probably going to be using that tomorrow because I'm doing a bit of landscaping for work tomorrow as well. So that flips back in. If we open it up, we've got needle nose pliers. Come to quite, I don't know if you can see that. Quite a good point at the end. And then in between, you've got cutters they're good that's what this is what i use all the time this bit just for like when i'm welding clearing cleaning out my mig torch in the shroud chopping me mig wire off at the end and clipping it and whatnot and stripping wires and all sorts so they're really handy they are and then inside this bit 
you can see, I don't know if you can see there, you've got like a ruler, inches and centimetres, and it's extended on that side. So we open this up, we've got a Phillips screwdriver, that locks into position there, you can release it with like, it's got a little button there that you can release it back down, and then clicks back into place, then the Phillips screwdriver you can just go flip that around, you've got yourself just a flathead screwdriver, uh, and then whilst we're on that bit, in this pouch as well, I've got, there's a little pocket at the back, it's quite hard to get out, <laughs> there you go, got two of these, all the different bits, screwdriver bits, that fit in to this bit, so you can just take, whip one out, put one in, whatever you need, Allen key bits and all sorts in that little set, you can buy separately. I tend just to use the, uh, put leave that one in, just because that's more what I use, just for me. But you can swap it out if you wanted. So there, that's the, that's the little one that goes in the pouch. And also, with this little bit as well, as I said earlier, extender. So just put an extra little bit more reach and just slot in there, so that's that sorted. Put that back in, release that with a little button. Bosh, straight back in there, lovely. Then next to it you've got a tin opener. I use this more for opening beer, to be fair, rather than tins. Because tins usually have ring pulls on now. I mean, if you're really stuck up shit creek, that would be pretty good if you're out in the sticks. But not when you're at home. Don't really need it. More for beer, that one. So, and then next up on the other side, we've got a pair of scissors. Again, locks and unlocks with this. And then you just pull that down. Nice little sharp pair of scissors, really sharp as well, so they're good they are. Good for tripping, trimming your moustache. <laughs> if you're so inclined. I don't usually bother. So there you go. Next one. We've got painting opener or a flathead screwdriver. Quite good for opening tins of paint though, I find. So that's that one. And then we've got another little tiny screwdriver there, like for your glasses or whatever. Again, you can pull that out. Then with the set of screwdrivers you get in here, you get some smaller, smaller ones at the end. You can swap round. That just flips back. What else we got? I think that's it. But this is these are really good for like the working geezer. If you're a welder like me, these are perfect. They do everything you need to do. Um, if you're a handyman, could be quite useful. If you're out in the sticks, these would be really useful. Just as an everyday carry, they're really useful. Just if you're out and about like me, and you're in the van, you're stuck for a knife or stuck for if you can't get a bolt or something you ain't got a spanner everything you use these for absolutely everything i use these every single day of my life i've had these now for well over a year now uh, i gave my last set to my mum because <laughs> she wanted them so i bought these so there you go leatherman wave Folds up nice and easy as well. I mean, you can loosen these bits as well, just so you can 
you know, flip them out if you want to. I usually just take them out of my pouch on my belt, open up a little bit, flip them out. There you go. Nice and handy. There we go. Pop them back in the wallet. That's it. And this, this is really good. Sturdy, like military kind of material as well. Little, little belt loop. And so, yeah. Everyday carry, number one. Absolutely brilliant. Never been weighed. Has been sealed.